Football Manager 2019 is finally here, but now you've got the age-old question of who am I going to manage? Well, let me try and help you with that answer. Now, have you ever thought about managing in Singapore? If not, why not? In this video, I'm going to give you a brief summary of all the top fight teams in Singapore. Let's take a look at the rules now for the Singapore Premier League. Uh, maximum of three foreign players, maximum squad size of 25. Players can be registered within those days. Um, you're going to get 32 grand if you finish first, 1,500 pounds if you finish in sixth. Top team qualifies for the Asian Champions League. Uh, preliminary round uh, number second spot qualifies for the Asian Confederation Cup playoff. Exclusions, the Unicorn team from Singapore and the DPMM, the Brunei boys and the Young Lions. So kicking off the uh, Singapore Premier League, uh, Ballestia. If you pick like, these, if you take these boys, you're going to expect to finish around about sixth spot in the league. You're going to have a bank balance of 151,000 pounds with a transfer kitty of around about 33,000 uh, pounds. 9,682 players, um, 82 players with a, with a wage budget of 9,682 pounds on the books. Um, as for the squad itself, let's take a look at it. Um, your foreigners is where all the the talent lies, and you've got three or four. Decent players here, around about four or five star potential. Verdun, Mesic, Croatian. Uh, pretty decent statistics, to be honest with you, at this level. Um, where does he play? Attacking midfield, uh, maybe down the middle of the park. Dusan Madankovic, 18-year-old. Look at this guy, hot prospect for the future. Um, straight on the books here, so he's, he's, he's one for the, you know, you're going to have to nurse him into the squad a little bit. Sanjin Vadovic, uh, Austrian, another youngster, 18 years of age. Again, yet to make his debut for the club. Uh, we've got a South African, 28 years of age. Uh, scored a few goals uh, at his previous club. Yet to get going. Attributes aren't that great. Um, as for the locals, the Singapore fellas, you've got three or four guys of four, maybe five-star potential. So not too shabby. In the old under-19s we go. One superstar standout right here, right now. Again, he's Austrian, 18 years of age. Uh, he's, he's very raw, uh, so you've got to give him time. Um, to develop and maybe just maybe he'll work out to be a good player as for the team report um, a few hang on a minute as for the team report uh, just a few positives quite a lot of negatives uh, midfield uh, Verdun Mesic is a really good player in the middle of the park um, goalkeeper you also got a pretty handy set of set of arms between the sticks uh, youth prospects there's a couple of good quality players cook them through the, the ranks and uh, as for your weaknesses, though, a whole bunch of stuff here. Teamwork, stamina, balance, crossing, technique. Uh, tendencies are pretty low. Positioning of your players, finishing, marking. Um, so all the stuff that could be worked upon if you have a good coaching setup. Now, the board expects you to finish in mid-table. Um, and they reach the group stages of the Singaporean League Cup. And also be competitive in the Singapore Cup. Next up, we have DPMM now. All you Rovers fans, that does ring a bell, doesn't it? It's, it's former Steve Keane's job. Now, DPMM, I think it's the Brunei or whatever it is. They have a £400,000 bank balance with a transfer kitty of 100 k £12,000 wages, and you're spending around about 12200 So you've got a little bit of room. Let's have a quick look. See if he's still knocking on the books um, uh, within the club. Manager is me. Obviously, we've uh, yeah, I've had to jump in as manager. Let's take a look at the squad here. Um, a Northern Ireland fella, Brian McLean. He's been here a while, has he? Yeah, he did. He originally came here, then he left, went back to Hibs uh, in Scotland, and then I think went over to Iceland a little bit. So he's your main man, former international for Northern Ireland, 33 years of age. A lot of Brunei guys here, not Singapore. Um, so that's a little bit different. Uh, you got also got a Ukrainian guy, Vladimir Piranov, uh, Ukrainian, 32 years of age. Uh, where can he play? He plays up uh, attacking midfield, maybe up front. Um, your most expensive player is this fella from Iran, Motajabi Zamalde or something like that. Um, his attributes are pretty woeful, got good pace. Um, besides that, if you look at the squad, look at the potential, not very good. Um, your best Brunei player is this fella on three stars, tell a lie. There's this guy down here on four stars. But to be honest with you, it's pretty woeful. Into the end of 19s we go. You've got four or five guys knocking about, but they're only around about three stars. 
at best. Now, the team report, let's have a look at this. Not many positives, quite a lot of negatives. So, uh, seeing a little bit of a pattern here. Um, acceleration, positioning, marketing, uh, marketing, marking, communication. There you are, and leadership are your better strengths. As for your weaknesses, wage budget could do with a trim. Uh, strength, pace, jumping reach, balance, aggression, dribbling, concentration, work rate, technique, heading, determination. Again, a lot of the key key areas that, that would make a successful team could do with some work. Your board expectations expected to finish in the top half of the table, um, win the uh, and be competitive within the Singapore League Cup and also be competitive in the Singapore Cup. So um, they want you to be in amongst it. I think they've also won the old league not so long ago. Um, under Steve Keen's management, management, would you believe it? Next up, we have Galang International. Uh, their expectations are to finish seventh. Uh, in the in the league, got finances of around about two hundred twenty-five thousand pounds in the bank with a transfer kitty of thirty-nine thousand pounds. Wages are eight thousand and six hundred fifty-three pounds per week, um, and you're spending around about eight thousand four hundred. Take a look at the squad now. You've got quite a few four five stars knocking about. So pretty pretty healthy looking squad. A couple of Japanese players that add real quality to the lineup. Uh, Yuki Ochinaki, thirty years old. Uh, his attributes are pretty scary uh, in the bad side. Uh, and the other Japanese fellow, 28 years old, a midfielder, attacking midfielder. Um, been around a little bit, but his attributes are okay. A little bit better than the other fella. Um, your, your Singapore fellas. Um, got a couple of four, five stars. You've got this guy who is on loan at some other club. I can't read it. My color blindness is kicking in. As for the under 19s, uh, got four guys on the books. One of them's really good. Potentially five-star material in Ashaf Razali wing back. As for the team report, um, you got a, you got a whole load of stuff to work on: tackling, um, technique, flair, teamwork, long throws, uh, uh, acceleration, dribbling, leadership, bravery, handling, passing, long shots, and pace. All areas of improvement. But your strengths are decisions, a concentration. Your coaching staff's up there, so maybe just maybe you've already got the key ingredients to try and chip away at these to reduce these weaknesses and turn this into a, a more comp uh, competitive uh, sort of squad. As for the expectations, you're competing on multiple fronts here. Mid-table in the Singaporean Premier League, reach the group stages of the League Cup, the group stages of the Asian Confederation Cup, and be competitive in the Singapore Cup. Next up, we have Home United, and the expected finish is second. Now, if you decide to go this option, you're going to have £270,000 in the bank with £50,000 transfer kitty. Uh, you've got a wage budget of £17,500, and you're, on, you're under that by £500 at the moment. Your team looks like this. Um, you've got a couple of uh, internationals on the books that does improve the team a little bit. You've got this Australian fella who can play pretty much anywhere across midfield. Um, that he prefers to be down the left-hand side. His physicals are pretty good uh, for this level, but that's probably your best. That's all you can get excited about. Then you've got Song Yong Yong, um, who is a woeful looking striker. Um, first touch is six, finishing is eight. 20 goals in 100 games. Maybe he's more of a hold up man. Uh, you've got Sinri Kamara, 27 year old Frenchman, can play in the left side of defense as well as midfield. Um, again. The standard of football in Singapore is not that great. Um, as for your locals, got a couple of good guys in here. Admiral Arashaf, uh, who could go as high as five star, so he's one to keep an eye on. As for your under-19s, you have four or five guys on the books. Um, one guy could go as high as five star. Your team report looks like this. Quite a few positives, quite a few negatives. A lot to take in here. Passing is good. Tackling, anticipation, uh, corners, teamwork, aggression, bravery, um, defense, shot accuracy, crossing, composure. A lot of good things to take away from this. Technique is also up there. Kicking, though, is pretty woeful. Heading, uh, reflexes of the keeper, defensive depth could be improved, communication, uh, vision. Um, the overall depth of the squad and the youth prospects could be something that could be tweaked uh, over the years. And your board expects you to qualify for the Asian Confederations Cup. Don't really, not really fussed about the Singapore League Cup. Reach the group stage of the Asian Confederations Cup and win the Singapore Cup, boys and girls. They want you to go all out and win that bad boy. Uh, next up, we have Ho Yang United. Uh, predicted finish is eighth. Ho Yang have 140k in the bank and 28,000 pound transfer kitty with your wages of around about 10,600 pounds. You're spending around about 10,300. So you've got a little tiny little bit to improve the squad. And if you have a look at it, the average uh, wage of the boys here is around about 300 anyway. So any improvements will be 
probably costly. Uh, you've only got one international to tell a lie. You've got two. You've got an Italian here, Antonio Vitali, who is uh, 21 years of age. Could go as high as five star. Um, yeah, one for the one for the future. Yang Yo Jung, South Korean. He's your best man right there. Um, and he's 30 years of age. Uh, your most expensive player is that fella that I just mentioned. He's uh, also four and a half stars. You've got a couple of four and a half star uh, Singapore fellas. So that's good. So you've got some good quality chipping away within the ranks. Uh, as for under 19s, pretty healthy looking under 19s as well. You've got four or five guys uh, at a rating of around about four to five star potential at this level. As for the team report, a lot to take in, both for and against you. Um, agility, uh, corners, flair, first touch, passing, um, positioning, youth prospects, vision composure and of course down at the bottom there coaching staff one of the best coaching staffs within the league as for your weaknesses acceleration bravery uh decisions anticipation um tackling heading passing uh, overall depth could be improved but um that is something that's out of out of the coaching staff's hands but more in your hands maybe you can bring in some more players um but I don't know what the lure is uh, out in Singapore. Uh, the board expect you to finish mid-table in the Premier League, uh, reach the group stage of the League Cup, and be competitive in the old Singapore Cup. And we have Nicketing Nikata Unicorn Singapore. Uh, a predicted finish is fourth. Um, bag balance of two hundred three thousand pounds. Transfer of thirty nine grand. Wages are nine thousand two hundred per week, and you've spent around about nine thousand fifty quid. So not much to spend there. As for your team. Very, very Japanese heavy here. So not sure what the deal is here. If you are, if you can, if Singapore players count as internationals or what. I don't know. But they are very decent looking players. All four, five star potential. So it just goes to show the difference between Japan and Singapore at this level. Not really going to dig too, too much into that. Under, under 19s, you've got a couple of guys on the books. One guy could go as high as four star. But they're nothing compared to some of these. Back. Look at them all. All, you're pretty much two thirds of it are over four star. So decent players for the future if you can be patient enough to see the results. As for your strengths and weaknesses, natural fitness, anticipation, pace, handling, leadership, midfield, command of the area by the goalkeeper, marking, heading, all up there. As for your weaknesses, um, stamina, long shots, strength, um, work rate, flair, corners, first touch and determination. Again, if you've got the good coaching staff, you're going to be competing. Uh, or you can you can affect those uh, negatives uh, with some good coaches. So maybe focus on that instead of focusing on adding some players. As for the board, they expect you to be in mid-table of the Premier League. Um, not really bothered about the League Cup, but be competitive in the Singapore Cup. Uh, next up, we have the Tampines. What a strange old name. Expected to finish in first place. So these bad boys with a bank balance of £286,000. I've got a transfer kitty of £44,000. Uh, wages of £12,500. You're spending about £12,200. So there's not much manoeuvre there. Um, as for your players, pretty tasty looking squad as well. Full of Singapore players of over four star all better. Uh, your top man is this guy, though, is Japanese. Um, he is a attacking midfield on the right-hand side. Got good pace, natural fitness, um, very good work rate and technique. His first touch is okay. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think he's that great. But he scored 13 goals and 38 appearances out wide. Jordan Webb, Canadian fella, formerly of nobody special. Uh, he's just been around um, Singapore a fair bit. No, no international caps to his name. But you do have a lot of good potential here, Singapore-wise. As for your under-19s, you got three or four guys on the books, a couple of guys, potential three or four stars, but nothing to get excited about. As for your strengths and weaknesses, a lot to take in here. Feel free to pause the screen and take a, take a good read. But you're dribbling, you're heading, communication, technique, flair, bravery, determination, uh, vision, uh, teamwork, strength, finishing. It's all in the good stuff. As for your bad stuff, uh, marking, agility, positioning, anticipation, uh, tackling, passing, and your coaching staff could do with a bit of a bit of a revamp. Your board expect you to win the Premier League, boys and girls. No second fiddle here. Uh, they're not bothered about the League Cup. Reach the second preliminary round of the Champions League. Uh, also reach the group stage of the uh, Asian Confederation Cup. I think that must have a domino effect. You crash out of this, you go into this, and then be competitive in the Singapore Cup. Uh, next up, we have Warriors FC. Predicted finish is third. 
Now, Warriors FC have a bank balance of £286,000 in the bank with a transfer kitty of 50 k wage budget of 11 grand, five, uh, 854 pounds You're around about 300 shy, so maybe one addition if you're lucky. Into the squad we go. Your main men are Jonathan Behe, French fella, play up front, 29 years of age. Pretty good physical stats at this level. Scoring goals for fun as well, 10 out of 15. So uh, one every one and a half games. Salian Tsunami, Singapore striker as well. Not as good as the Frenchman, but he's okay. Kintanko Funkra, 28 years old, Japanese fella, centre-back. Um, pretty good at this level. Uh, yeah. As for the rest of the guys, a lot of Singapore guys. Around about three or four star here. So, some good quality within the first team squad. Into the reserves we go, or under 18s, 19s, whatever it is. You've got four or five guys on the books. But nothing to get excited about. But So this is it. This is your squad, really. So already, I think squad depth is something. You've got quite a lot of goalkeepers, though, uh, considering this is your squad. You've got four keepers, six strikers, give or take. Five or six strikers. Ha yeah, your defence and your midfield could do with a vast improvement. Um, as for the team report, besides that, you know, they're saying this is, this is it. You've got a lot more strengths than your weaknesses. Uh, defensive depth, overall depth, midfield depth, goalkeeper depth. No way. You've got you've got a shitload of tons of goalkeepers. That's bonkers. Remember, scratch that off. Agility, long throws, corners, vision, dribbling, crossing. Um, so those are your areas that you need to improve on. But they do say that you've got good decision uh, makers, concentration, attendance is up, uh, jumping reach, pace, uh, heading, youth prospects, tackling. I'm not too sure about that either. I think that's a load of bullshit. And I think uh, your goalkeeper depth is... Is well above. Got four keepers in the first team squad. Come on, boys. As for the predictions or the expectations from the club, top half in the Premier League, not important about the old League Cup, and be competitive about the Singapore Cup. And last but not least, it's Young Lions. Predicted finish is ninth. Finances are 140 grand in the bank with a transfer kitty of around about 40k, uh, wage budget of 8,000 pounds, and you're spending 7,600. So give or take around about 400 quid to spend. This is your squad, boys and girls. Um, all Singapore players, not one foreigner knocking about. So that is interesting. And if you look at it, a very tasty looking potential within the squad. A huge considering the last team that we just looked at. Um, but two thirds of it, maybe three quarters of it, are of a, a four star or better level. Uh, as for the under 18s, again, look at that. A lot of good quality within the future if you've got the patience uh, to stick around and play. Um, play, stick with your, your national team or national players, should I say. Yeah, however, despite that, this is the doom and gloom on the board here. Your strengths, passing is up there. Attacking depth is pretty good. Uh, top goal scorer is fifth in the competition. You have one of the best coaching staffs uh, within the division. But your yeah, negatives, L despite all the promise, Leadership, dribbling, finishing, heading, long shots, marketing, uh, marketing, I keep saying that, marking, off the ball, passing, dribbling, composure, uh, there's a lot of work to be done, and uh, I think defence is an area that is of a major concern, um, should you go this level, or should you go with these bad boys, as for the competitions, uh, the expectations, finish bottom of the league, that's what they're expecting you to do, is finish bottom of the league, they want you to finish bottom, so piece of piss right um as for the singapore cup be competitive boys and girls be competitive that's pretty much all i've got for you today folks if you've enjoyed this video please give it a good old thumbs up and if you're new to the channel smash your subscribe button get your bang up today with all things football manager 19 related blackburn rovers related world football related we've got it all here under one roof also check out the old description links to my other social media platforms are in there twitter facebook it's all in there and if you're planning on your own game save for the football manager 2019 let me know in the comment section below and then also if this video has helped you select your fm19 again drop a comment in the old section below until i see you again which will be very very soon thumbs up subscribe chapping out